Hello, I'm John De La Pera and I'm a PhD candidate in the Eau Claire and Hancock labs and I work out in the Biopharmaceutical Analysis Training Laboratory in Burlington, Massachusetts. What if I told you there was a bodily fluid that could potentially allow a non-invasive biopsy for quick, accurate, and early detection of important diseases, specifically diseases that are important to women's health? Well, that's what I work on. I work on detecting certain markers that are found in menstrual blood that could show us if a woman potentially has ovarian cancer or let's say issues with fertility and that's the main focus of my research. So what I've helped develop is a simplified robust method for early detection of novel disease biomarkers in menstrual blood. So the solution involves many different steps, but the first step is shown here. This is this uh, hemospot, which is, will separate the blood into various components, which allows us to have a cleaned up sample. So we can get these types of profiles. So you see on the right, a potential healthy patient, and we can see distinct peaks, and each peak represents some protein that is at some particular level in the sample. On the left, we see a potential disease state patient, and each of these peaks represents different proteins or the same proteins with some sort of modification. We can see in this schematic here that we start with the blood sample split into many components. So for example, here we see the blade split into components of different proteins that are in the blade. And then we see those peaks, which I've shown before. That might look like random noise to some, but actually those peaks each represent a protein, which we're able to use databases to match those fragment masses based on known patterns, and then we can specifically identify which proteins are there. This method provides early and easy detection, and that translates directly to live saved. When you can predict that a woman is developing ovarian cancer, for instance, when we catch it earlier, that means that we can save lives. Our solution is unique, so there is competition in terms of looking for biomarkers in blood samples, for instance, but that means taking venous blood, so that would be a rather invasive uh, type of test. Um, and there are various other biopsy, biopsies, but with menstrual blood, this is a regularly occurring bodily fluid discharge that we can collect monthly. And because we can do that, we can see patterns and changes over time. So we have a clear, clearly superior method just in terms of ease of collection. Um, so far, I've worked to validate a method for comparison analysis. And what that means is basically the schematic that I showed before. Every step of this process has been repeated many times. So we verify that we can actually take the menstrual blood sample. We can clean, clean it up a bit so that the higher abundance proteins aren't there. And then we can see these profiles and we can actually match and find very particular proteins that are in that sample. So we've made a lot of progress so far. The most important things would be to continue finding even more biomarkers. So now we've validated a whole method and now we're just processing samples. Um, we have bags and bags full of samples that are in the process of being analyzed. And now that we have a lot of faith in the process and that we're sure of the type of data that we're seeing, we will continue to process those, collect them and analyze them using big data techniques. So we'll have large databases full of information and then we can map and match very specific proteins and modifications to patients that are either healthy or sick. And that'll allow us to do that predictive type work that I was speaking about.